Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, it's all about converting images from one format to another. And we're going to be doing that using two different systems. We're going to be using a program called Image Magic, which is a great program and is free. And we're also going to be doing it using uh, our OpenCV program. Um, the first thing we need to do is find out if you're uh, if you have um, image magic in your system and the way to do that is you enter this command into your uh, terminal identify version and if it comes back like that that means it's already installed it might not be the newer version but, but it's, at least you already have it installed, so you don't need to uh, uh, install it unless you need to upgrade it. In case you don't have it in your computer for some one reason or another, I have included in the description of the video here the steps of how to configure and build from source by going to the Image Magic uh, website address here and uh, and follow these steps. Okay, once you have it uh, downloaded and configured in your system, then you can uh, follow the rest of the tutorial. So let's do this first. I'm going to use Image Magic uh, and doing. You don't have to enter any any commands or anything besides the command that is going to execute whatever uh, function that you want. But in this case, I'm just saying convert a blue rose jpeg to a blue rose png using image magic and this is the file right here blue rose jpeg and i'm going to make it i'm going to show you is this this one right here and i'm going to create uh, a png version of that file okay so i'm going to hit enter and you're going to see it being created on this side of the on this file right here you're going to see it also, also it populates the folder. So let's say enter. And as you can see, it's being created right here. And you see it. It's a blue rose PNG. That's using image magic. It was quick. Uh, it's, it's nice and quick. And it, it creates uh, this one, as you can see. If we hit properties, and image properties, it's a JPEG. Okay. And uh, if we do the same with the PNG and properties, I just can see it's a PNG image. And there you go, you know, same same pixels. And uh, so that's the first thing we're going to do. The other thing that we're going to do is how to reduce the images size by, uh, by using Im uh, image magic. So this is the command that we're going to do. We're going to take that same blue rose JPEG and we're going to reduce it by 50%. Okay, so I'm going to copy this, go here, paste, convert blue rose JPEG, resize 50% blue rose PNG. So a, a, a blue rose JPEG into a 50% smaller blue rose PNG and hit enter. And you, if we go to the same file, you see it that is being created right here. And if you, if we open that one with Image Viewer, you're gonna see that it's much smaller than that one. Let's see, open this one. You see, it's a much bigger file and a lot smaller. Okay, and it's a great program. It's fast. It works beautifully. Uh, it is indispensable if you're using, uh, if you're working with uh, images and you're doing image processing. It's a very handy um, uh, uh, program, and, and the good thing about it is open source. It's, it's, it's basically free, a uh, free version that comes with your Ubuntu, and it's right here. Okay, and and there's other other more complicated uh, steps, like if you want to uh, create a version of PNG version of all your JPEG files. This command right here, modify format PNG star JPEG will will do a create a version of all your files. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna I don't wanna create a PNG version of all of them. But uh, and then this, if you wanna play around with this, you can go to this website here and uh, 
they have a lot of a lot of great stuff uh, it's this website right here it shows all other things that you can do it it is incredible it's a it's a very good website very well put together and it has a lot of great examples of how to how you can create play with images and resizing masking and all kinds of things okay the second step of the tutorial I'm gonna be using let me clear this I'm gonna be using uh, OpenCV to do the same thing uh, that, that we did with image magic uh, I'm gonna be doing it by doing this this following this uh, code right here I'm going to I already have a file let me open it let's uh, and the name of the file is yellow rose pie and pseudo nano yellow rose pie. and this is the file right here the code um, as you can see I'm importing the Python image library numpy pylab I'm doing uh, a loading the image creating a window showing the image uh, I'm gonna I have a, a wait key it will last for a little bit and then go away and then I'm going to save an image just like I did with image magic but using OpenCV and then once I hit uh, close it will end the program okay so let's run it you can see before that let me let me uh, get rid of this one so you see that it's a new one okay let's run the program python yellow rose oops rose pie and you're going to this is the original and you're going to see right here that it's going to be it's going to be created once i hit the uh, is it here already oh it's right here it's being created right here as you can see the big one went away and if we check this one this is the original right here if we open the original is uh, is this one and it's a JPEG but the new one that we just created is this one right here and it's uh, it's PNG you see and uh, if we open it for you to look at it this is the new one okay it's a nice yellow rose and okay well kind of pinkish no? okay and then the, the second program that we're going to use is, uh, is is to resize it just like we did with image magic it's another program is this program right here resize yellow so let's open it so I can show it to you pseudo nano yellow rose pie no it's resize pie Tab. that's the one right here and what's it's the same thing we're importing the python uh, image library following importing the computer vision libraries I'm loading it resizing it into a new window and as you see it's creating the right here is creating the new matrix with different rows different columns and re resizing the original into the resize we're, sh we're going to show the image we're also going to show it for a for a small amount of time and then it's going to go away and then I'm, we're going to save it into the file just like we did with the other one and you see it's not here right now okay and you're going to see it being created so let's run it control x uh, python oops python resize uh, tab yellow pie and then hit enter and you can see it right here this is going to go away this is the small version of it as you can see it and once it goes away you're going to see it being created down here you see it being created right here and there it is so if we open it this is the original the original 
is op is uh, let's check the properties. It's an image, 1024 by 768 height, and if we open, well, let's open it so you see it. It's nice and big, and uh, the resize version. Open with image viewer. You can see it's a lot smaller. And that's how you do it with OpenCV. I mean, you can use uh, Image Magic. You can use OpenCV. Uh, it depends on the application that you're using. They're 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 really both of them are great programs. And and and, and Image Magic is uh, is a great software. And like I said, it's free. It, it comes with Ubuntu. And uh, I'm going to uh, include the source code under the description of the video for all of, all of the files, all of the examples that are, we've done. And like always, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe and, and click the like box. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.